What we're going to do next is install Git on a Mac operating system, and we're also going to install a graphic utility called SmartGit, which is free for non-commercial use, and will help us visualize some aspects of Git as we move through the Git tutorials. So what I'm going to do is do a search in Google for OSX Git, and I'm going to click the topmost link, which points to code.google.com slash p slash git OSX installer. From here, I'm going to click on Downloads. And at the top, we have several options for Git on Snow Leopard, which is what I'm running. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one to download. And once the download is complete, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where it is on my operating system. And I'm going to go ahead and double click it to open it. This will load the disk image, and we need to go ahead and run the .pkg file. I'm going to click Continue. I'm going to click continue again and install. Once it's done, we can go ahead and click close. And now we have Git. Now we can go ahead and give it a test. What we need to do is open up a terminal or command line program. The Mac comes with a program called terminal, which you can use to access the command line. But I'm going to use an alternative program called iTerm just because of some of the nice features that come with it. So I'm going to jump to it. I'm going to make sure that git is installed by typing just the three letters git on the command line. And if we see some output here that includes a list of some of the different features of git, then that means that git is installed properly and we're good to go. Now, while most of what we do will happen on the command line for git, it's also helpful to have a graphical utility. So let's go ahead and install a program called smart git. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the browser and I'm gonna do a search for smart git. And I'm going to click on the download link under the Git Client Smart Git. It jumps us to a page where we can download for our current operating system by default. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download. There's a license agreement. Because Smart Git is free for non-commercial use, and this just says that if we plan on using it for commercial use, then we need to pay, among some other things. I'm going to go ahead and click that I've read it and download. This will download as a tar.gz file, so we need to go ahead and unpack it before we can use it. So I'm going to set it to open with archive utility, which will do the unpacking after it downloads. When we're done downloading and extracting, we'll have a smart git folder, and we can go ahead and expand that. And then we can take the smart git app and drag it over to our applications folder. Okay, now you have everything that you need in order to use git and visualize Git on your Mac.